Earlier this summer, I saw a story of a young man named Bridger Walker. Bridger, six years old, and his four-year-old sister, he adores her. From the moment she was born, absolutely adores her. And they were playing in a friend's backyard, and there was a dog that began to growl at his sister, and then suddenly this dog lunged at his sister. And Bridger instinctively jumped in front of his sister and took the brunt of this dog, and this dog bit him. He's since recovered, and he is, he's healed. And, I mean, it's unbelievable that he didn't lose his life. In fact, uh, if you Google it, what you'll see is that he's, he loves superheroes. And so every superhero in Hollywood that you can think of has gotten in touch with him and contacted him, and he's just been showered with affection and love. Everybody in the world has been moved by a six-year-old boy. And his dad asked him, he said, why did you do that? And Bridger said, well, I figured if somebody had to die... It should be me. This is exactly what Jesus has done for us. When I heard that story, I thought, man, that's Jesus. Like he stepped in front of the vicious dogs and he took the brunt of it and gave his life so that I might live. I mean, right now, can we all see it? Is man, our world is is just being ravaged by vicious dogs. I mean, whether it's injustice, whether it's abuse, whether it's depression and it's causing loneliness, it's calling broke brokenness, there's so much pain right now, and God is calling us to do what Jesus did. We're to follow in his footsteps, lay down our lives so that others might 